please. Okay, so welcome to the December 8th meeting of the Chaos Common Working Group. Um, this is our last meeting until January. So uh, we'll get some stuff done and then everybody can enjoy their enjoy their holidays. And since um, since Elizabeth found out um, and I found out through Elizabeth that you can just type colon and then the emoji thing and it will just add it to Google Docs, I thought that what your top three emojis would be a good one to do for. Uh, for this meeting so go ahead and uh oh yeah i don't know i also one of my others i'm gonna i'm gonna do four because i have another one that i use all the time i use the sparkly heart all the time i can't find it there we go sparkling heart um those are my four i'll just change it right here that way it doesn't look like i'm cheating <laughs> you're a rule follower i know <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right um so i thought we would start and let me let me just pull this up here and um share my screen sorry i'm apparently not good at clicking right now Everything is hard You're for good. no reason. There we go. There we go. This is what I was trying to do. Um, so we have some open PRs. So I thought we'd start with those because they're um, some good ones. So a couple of the metrics that we've been been working on. Uh, so uh, Vinod put in a uh, change request review duration one and so let's see he's added it to the um time focus areas um oh it looks like we've got a typo i can't merge i can't I don't think i can merge it um boo okay uh so he's got a, a typo in one of the file names it looks like so let's just uh, let's just leave a comment and ask him to. Um, why is this so hard? There's GitHub being more helpful than I would like it to be. Okay. This is exciting. People watching me type. Okay. I'm I'm just listening to you type. <laughs> more exciting. Type it, type it, type it. You need a clicky, at least. Okay. So can I, can sadly, I just interrupt? Because there, sadly, can I, because there was. Uh, go ahead, Elizabeth. I, I'm so sorry. This is extremely important. I just figured out that we can also do the shortcut in Zoom chat for emojis. I just wanted to say I had not no idea that that was a thing. So continue on with the actual real productive meeting. I apologize. Nice. Yeah. So I've I've always used it in Slack and um and then it never occurred to me that I could do that elsewhere and it seems yeah. like everything else is now implementing that because it's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, yes. Okay. Yeah, well done. I learned something new this week. Thank you, Elizabeth. <laughs> Anytime. Happy to help. <laughs> Okay, we've got types of contributions. Um, so this looks like an update to an existing metric. Uh, I think that these are all things that we talked about, and these are some reformatting of bullets, it looks like, uh, to get rid of the nested bullets. Um, 
anybody have any comments on on this one? Any concerns with uh, with merging it? I assume this is probably one that we looked at in the past. Um, Don't you know? If, is there a way to preview uh, what that would look like? I feel like there is. Yes, uh, I think it's this one. Yeah, that's the rich diff, but you can also uh, there is there is another way to do it. Um, I think if you just view the file. Yeah. yeah, just so we can have a quick look, make sure it looks good. Yeah, a lot of this was bullet point reformatting, yeah. and I think just making some of the language a little more concise. Yeah, that looks good to me. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, merge that. Whoops. Now that I've gotten here, I can't seem to get back out of it. I'll just kind of start over. Oh, actually. Okay, cool. So we've got one one pull request merged. Let's have a quick look at the issues and see if we've got anything new. Uh, the new things were basically from September, and those were all we talked about all of these before around um, renaming some metrics and uh, some new metrics. So we'll we'll leave those open. I don't, I don't know if this is appropriate to bring up, but just seeing that release notes, um, and maybe this is the group to talk about. I know that there have been concerns about the metrics release process just being super heavyweight. Um, I know that's something Matt had brought up in the past. Um, and I don't know if this is the, the working group to have that conversation, but I know that there is a desire to streamline that process, maybe even take those hard release out and just keep that cont continuous release process throughout the whole year instead of doing like two versions. So um, I just wanted to maybe, I don't know, today's probably not the day to talk about that because it's like the end of, you know, whatever, but just maybe just plant that seed of like, if, if this is the place to have that conversation, uh, maybe we can add that to the agenda or think about it. Matt, did you have any thoughts on that? I do, I do have thoughts on that. And hopefully you can hear me okay. Yep. Um, Okay, so I'm, I'm with you, Elizabeth, on the just the following a continuous release process, just to just because we have both of them, we have the continuous release process, and then we have that twice a year release process. The only disadvantage I think that comes from dropping the twice a year release process is that has a tendency of being a forcing function for people or for working groups to release metrics. So as long as we're okay with kind of losing that forcing function, then I'm definitely inclined for just following a continuous release process. I think this is probably, um, probably a discussion that's more appropriate in the weekly meeting. Because I feel like this is something that impacts the entire entire community. It certainly, maybe. yeah, it certainly does. Yep. Yeah, maybe we can tee that up for after the holidays. Yeah, that's a good <clears> idea. Yeah. We had. Oh, go ahead, Matt. I was going to say also. I mean, just irrespective of like continuous versus uh, like having it every twice a year. Um, I did, for what it's worth, I did update the template in every working group, you know, that template, the checklist template that we use for releasing a metric. Mm -hmm. So that's updated and it's way shorter now. Cool. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, that's yeah. great. Oh, okay. So I think I maybe, maybe cut it over half uh, just to make it a little easier for people to think about releasing a metric, whether it's continuous or whether it's part of the release cycle. 
And to your point, Don, about bringing it in the community meeting, um, I think that's where we originally teased the idea. Um, but the only my only concern with that is that we always have so much other stuff going on there and it's it's kind of hard, but I do agree that it does absolutely impact the whole project and it like this group tends to be a little bit smaller, a smaller subset, obviously, of the greater uh, community. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, let's let's put that um, back on the agenda again for uh, the community meeting and just to like tease it out and see what people think. And then maybe bring it back here to talk about like the details or implementation or you know like the other finer finer points maybe. And we can also um, yeah we can certainly talk about it here in a future meeting um, for sure. We could also have some of the discussion via Slack and or the new Discourse server once we get that all up and running. Yeah, hundred percent. I like that. That way people can people can weigh in outside of the meeting and then maybe. Maybe if we have some consensus, then maybe we can take that into the, the meeting. Um, maybe after we've talked about it here or after we've had those online discussions. Yeah, good point. That's a, that's a good idea. Okay. Um, next thing on the agenda is previous action items. Uh, Matt, did you get a chance to start the maintainer count? Metric? Nope. Okay. Nope. Um, okay, uh, let's see. Uh, Kevin was going to add the time based metrics review stuff to the template. Does anybody know if he did that? What is that one? What was supposed uh, to happen? Um, the, the guidelines about which is a duration versus a time to versus age of. Uh, I remember was, this, yeah. Yeah, I I don't think that hap has happened. Okay. Um, do you want to reassign that to me? I'm happy to do that. Yep, I will do that. Uh, let's see. Time waiting for reviewer action. Um, that's the one we just talked about, I think, right? Or was it? Or was that one already merged? I'm waiting for review. That might have been merged. Oh, change request review duration. I think that one was renamed. Yep, change request review duration. Okay, so that's, uh, That's good. We just need to finish the, the PR. Um, I think there was a. I'm just going to add it to the time based metrics review because it's related. Uh, let's see, what else do we have on the action items? Uh, types of contributions. So that was the one we just merged. So that one's done. The organizational diversity one was done. I assume John oh, okay. probably hasn't. Sorry, John. Yeah, sorry, John. Um, so that time, what was that one that we merged from Kevin? The types of contributions? Yes. That was just an update, right? Yes. Okay. I just want I, I couldn't remember. It was so long ago. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's see. So I assume Sean's still working on contributor location. Let me just make sure that's on the agenda. It is. Okay. Um, technical work is done. Maintainer count. Matt said you're still working on that one. Uh, contributors bought. Yes, activity. thank thank you for using the word working. That makes me feel better. <laughs> yep. Uh, Matt, did you get a chance to clean up column D for the ones, uh, for the, uh, PRs that have been, the metrics that have been merged in the spreadsheet? I, I mean, probably yes, because I try to keep that updated. I, okay. I can't see right in front of me, but I typically try to keep those in line. Okay. We'll assume that's done because that was an action item from October. 
because I think that was the last meeting. I don't see any notes from, I don't know what happened to the meeting that was supposed to happen. Maybe it was canceled for, I don't know. There was member summit, there was Thanksgiving, there was all kinds of stuff going on. Okay. Um, okay, so we reviewed the previous action items. Uh, Time-based metrics review. So Elizabeth's gonna add that to the template. Uh, Vinod's gonna update that last PR. We don't have Sean, so we'll just all assume he's still got an action item on contributor location. Um, maintainer count, that's still uh, still working on it. Uh, contributors uh, and bot activity, the notes starting on those, and we'll just we'll just assume that one's done. So that's that's what I had on the agenda, but I've also I haven't been to a meeting since the beginning of October. Um, so I'm not sure if there's other stuff we need to talk about in this meeting. Or if we're just kind of in a holding pattern waiting for people to get back from holidays. Yeah, probably that. I had one thing that I just wanted to bring to you. So in the metrics model meeting that we had, yeah. we had discussed um, working groups being able to create metrics models kind of a so there were two things one is that in the metrics model meeting we would make metric models and sometimes the metric models would be comprised of say eight metrics um, but sometimes only six of those metrics had been developed in the working groups so what we were doing is we were opening up issues in the respective working group saying hey you need to develop say this new metric that wasn't working real well because the working groups that were receiving these requests were like i have no context on making this metric i don't know what you're talking about yeah um, so we decided in, in the metric model working group that if if we're short uh a few metrics in the model that we're trying to develop we will develop them in the metrics model working group at least from a preliminary um perspective and then contribute them to the respective working group. So that's okay. just be on the lookout for that, that there may be metrics that show up from the metric model working group, but they should follow the template and at least have the, you know, the description that in the objectives at the top, at least have those pretty well articulated. Um, but then the other, the other direction is that working groups themselves can also contribute metric models to the metric model working group. So if a metric model is coming out of evolution or DEI or whatever, that, that, that working group would follow the metric model template and contribute that model for review by the metrics model team. Um, the one metric model that came up with respect to common was actually in the Slack channel in WG Comet. And it was actually the, the it was your work done. It was around the four, did you see that at all? It was the yeah. four metrics yeah, that you, yeah. So I'm wondering if maybe we could develop a metric model here out of the common working group that is just kind of drawing those four metrics together. I don't know if that makes sense for you, Don, and how you use those metrics, you know, and how you would like to express them, or if it's not, if it doesn't make sense to bring them together in a single, in a single model. I just, I'd like to get your thoughts on that. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I can do that. I mean, do you think it's a, do you think it's a good idea to bring those four metrics together into a metric model, you know, name, whatever we name it, the Don Foster metric model? <laughs> uh, yes, I, I will definitely name it something else. Um, but <laughs> yeah, maybe the Dr. Don Foster metrics model, I, I don't know. Um, but no, I think, it, <laughs> I think it would be good to have have kind of the, you know, those, those four starter metrics and they are kind of, um, you know, maybe we'll call it like the like the basic project health or something. Um, yeah, let me let me think about that. I will. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And put I, that on I'm my to-do to list. So the, I remember to do it. I'm happy to put it into the. I'm happy to put it into the template and all that kind of stuff. Okay. 
it, but may, maybe if you think it's a good idea, we could talk in Slack and I could just get like a description and what some of the objectives are. Yeah. For you, you know, that, that so that'd be easy enough. Okay. So that was it. Yeah, cool. I'll think about that. Maybe. Um, yeah, maybe I'll do that over the over the holidays, uh, you know, for for fun. Um, and if not, when I get back at the beginning of the year. Sounds sounds great. Okay, so I just put all of that in the notes. Uh, any anything else that we need to talk about? Okay, I feel like these meetings get really efficient as we approach the holidays and nobody wants to do any real work. <laughs> Action items for next year. Yeah, I, I like cool. that. <laughs> All right, well, I think this is my very last chaos meeting of, of the year since, uh, since we're canceling meetings and I'm after this Friday, I'm off the rest of the year anyways. So I've got a nice long vacation, um, which will sp be spent probably doing some stuff around the house. Uh, but uh, it'll be nice. It'll be nice not to be working. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks everybody. And I will talk to you in the new year. Sounds great. Have a good one. Thanks, thanks Bye everybody. everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.